what we're trying to do here really is revive literacy in our civilization. Not the American civilization per se, but in the Muslim civilization. And we have a beautiful hadith in the Sahih that said, that no group of people gathers in a, in a place of devotion and reads the book of Allah and studies it with one another. In other words, they discuss the meanings. And, and the Prophet said, except the angels descend upon them. And this sakina, the shakina in the Jewish tradition, the sakina comes down, this 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 tranquility enters the heart. And, and the rahma, the mercy of God, the grace of God pervades the gathering. And, and this is the civilizational project of really um, learning, acquiring that knowledge, applying that knowledge, and then transforming the world with that knowledge. We are the custodians of human knowledge. That's our mission. That's why Iqra, it did not say only to read the Quran. We read the Quran, but we are the custodians on not only the factual and the correct foundation of, of human intellect, but also where they went in order to actually discuss and be able to guide to people to that which is correct by being a custodian. You cannot be a custodian if it's only you think about yourself. You have to think broadly uh, in, in terms of the human contribution. May Allah uh, bless us to remain a community of readers. The first command that Allah gives in the Qur'an is Iqra. He didn't say shahid. He said read. He didn't say view. There's a, there's a, a book out now, speaking of books, called Glow Kids. The effect of constantly looking at screens on the development of the human brain and children. And uh, so we, we're, we're readers and we're supposed to read books.